All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagus and the Vikings, the brass, the coaches, everybody going out there for a nice little private private meeting workout with Michael Penix. Yeah, we're going to talk about that before we do. Hit that subscribe button. We were almost to uh, 11.5K, and all of a sudden we just lost a bunch. So come on, guys, let's make that up. Hit the button, subscribe. <laughs> Can we not talk about when we lose <laughs> some? And we lost like three, so... Uh, well, I guess is being dramatic as he always is. And maybe there's we're being dramatic. There's some bots out there. There's some bots out there. Exactly. Uh, maybe we're being dramatic. But, you know, the fact, I mean, uh, Quasi was there. Kevin, everybody was there to just soak in what Michael Penix has to offer, which clearly points to the fact that, you know what? They're doing their due diligence, but clearly they're interested. Well, that's the thing. You can just brush this off and say, oh, they're looking at every quarterback. They're doing their due diligence on this quarterback. They're not sending the whole entire coaching staff, everybody who's ever played for the Vikings, relatives, family members, out to see Bo Nix. They're not sending people out to go see Spencer Rattler. So I think there is some steam behind this that Michael Penix is truly someone they are interested in. Well, yeah, I mean, they're doing what they should be doing. Um, they're, they're preparing for every damn scenario. Michael Penix is, is again, you know, believe it or not, he, he's starting to be a hot name where they're saying to the point where, you know, they they think he'll go in the first half of the first round. Uh, opposed to, I mean, being a pick 45 or mid-second round. I mean, it sounds like he's damn near a lock to be a round one pick. The Raiders are always pegged at him. The the, the Seahawks are always a team that are, are floated around with Michael Penix. So if the Vikings can't work out a trade, if they get him, they would probably have to take him at 11. Well, that's good news for me because I think we made a draft bet last week about Michael Penix going in the first round. So I don't know if you remember that or not. We didn't put a wager on it, but we did uh, kind of come to loose terms. What did I say? On... That he was going to be a first rounder or not? No, I took that he was. You said he wasn't. Jeez, I'm going to have to look at the tape. That sounds made up. I can't remember what show it was, though, so I can't tell you where to look. Uh, yeah, so here's the thing. I think you can take away from all these quarterbacks they visited. Uh, they spent time with Drake May, Jaden Daniels. That's something that didn't actually happen after the pro day. That Whatever reason, that fell through. They had like a four day sleepover with JJ McCarthy, and now they're sending the entire staff to go see Michael Penix. It feels like to me, and I think it's safe to say it, it's probably going to be one of those three quarterbacks. Uh, yeah, and like JJ McCarthy, or I'm sorry, the Giants are meeting with Michael Penix. Like everybody's doing what they should be doing. The fact that they sent everybody out there uh, sounds like a private workout. Doesn't sound like it's anything overly crazy. I mean, they should all be going out there. So I don't put too much into that. But the fact that it came out, it's like, all right. Like maybe, maybe they're starting to see what it would take to get up to pick three, pick four. And they're like, huh, gross. Let's just get Penix and then get like a, get a defensive lineman at 23. Yeah, that's definitely uh, something they're definitely considering. But yeah, to me, this is, I don't know. This is interesting to me just because uh, Michael Penix, I mean, you did bring doctors out there too. I mean, you want to get everything you can look at as far as his medical background, his history. He's got a plethora of injuries. Uh, but again, you're also going to probably try and make him make those throws over the middle. Which he didn't do a lot of. He was more of an outside uh, guy taking deeper shots, and he doesn't have a lot of touch over the middle. So I think get him out there, make him make some of those throws you're going to see in your offense. I just think it's it's good business. I like his throws over the middle. He just whips that thing. That's the problem. There's no touch. Like there's no touch. He just don't care. He wants it there. He wants thing. it there fast. He wants uh, it there fast. I mean, panics at eleven. Uh, if that's what were to actually happen. I don't know. I mean, it sounds a little bit rich, but like, who knows? Who knows what but to believe? You tie this in with the Alec Lewis rumor that came out this week with the Vikings. You know, their chances of sticking and picking are much stronger than, you know, every fan believes. And now this comes out, too. I mean, those two rumors go hand in hand. And it's not, you know, obviously rumors are always out there flying. But to find two that kind of connect to each other, that's a little intriguing, too. Well, and the Vikings could be playing a little game of their own as well, uh, starting to show this much interest in Penix. Where teams that want to trade back, let's say the Patriots, whoever, the Cardinals, like, oh shit, we might be screwed. We need to, we need to maybe not ask for that extra first rounder. We want to trade with them. Does it uh, change your opinion that the Vikings are going to trade up? No. Yeah, me neither. No, not really, not really at all. But like, like you said, with the Alec Lewis thing, I mean, I, I, I think it changes my opinion over the last week where the Vikings might actually just stay with their picks. Yeah, that's slowly been getting more and more steam. Uh, we'll see what, I mean, again, they're looking at Byron Murphy, look at Johnny Newton. They've had these guys they brought in who aren't going to be there at pick 108, not even close. So what? they definitely have a plan. All right, let us know. Are the Vikings all in on Penix? Do you want Penix? It's just, just BS and you don't care. All right, guys, remember this. What do you think about Michael Penix? Well, you got Penix on the brain. A Mint Series 5 BATS Soldier by G.I. Joe. And if you look, Google that one bar, you'll recognize this guy. He goes for $15,000. It's the most expensive G.I. Joe. I think I had him. 